Sixers internet, happy Thursday. Welcome back to number six with cheese. Excited today, headed down to 87th, the Chatham neighborhood for hot shy chicken and cones. Couple sandwiches, glad you're here. That's right guys, and today we're doing a merch shout out for Griffin McDonald who bought the a subscription double pack. Ooh. That means he's getting two of our hot sauces, the regular and the hotter, every single month delivered to his door. Uh, I say it all the time guys, we literally wouldn't be able to do this show without the support from you guys, and it's uh, people like Griffin who are supporting us through buying our delicious hot yeah. sauce, or anybody really buying our merch that keeps the show going so if you want to snag some number six with cheese.com we've got new merch coming out all the time check it out and uh thank you so much let's go get some food Sandwiches in that bag acquired from Hot Shy Jump Cut. We got two different things. This is Corey's. Corey Wagner, second egg. All right, this is the hot honey butter chicken sandwich. Uh, this has got, ooh, it comes with fries too. Okay, so that's, whoa, that looks good. Let me give the full, the full view of this. Um, all right, so this bad boy, we've got pickles on there. It's got a, uh, Let's see, spicy mayo, pickles. This is a honey, hot honey butter glazed chicken thigh. Uh, I got it with no coleslaw, and then that's that, ladies and gents. Looking like a good thigh. Smells good. And then I got the Popeyes Ain't Shh. Harissa glazed chicken thigh, whipped garlic sauce, tomato, sumac onion, and pickles with those crinkle, crinkle cut fries. Okay, hot shy down on the south side. Ooh, cheers. cheers. Mmm. Oh, this is really good. Knock this thing out of the park. Wow. So there was four different spice levels. I got the hot, the third hottest one. How is it? Very manageable. Not too hot off the bat. I got medium and this has got a kick. Mmm. Like, I'm, this is spicy. I'm surprised yours isn't making you sweat. Maybe after a couple bites I'll get it, but no, I'm pretty good. I'm surprised too. So much sauce, like covered in mayo and sauce. I'm dripping. So good. Man. This is one of those sandwiches where even as a not pickle guy, I kept the pickles on because this is the type of chicken sandwich that works perfectly with a pickle. Yeah, it's a sign of true excellence in a chicken mm. sandwich when you're uh, mounting on the pickles. The chicken is crunchy, it's fried well, the flavoring on this is awesome. This is such a fun sloppy sandwich. Wow, this is spicy dude. I'm getting like no spice. Maybe they like didn't do mine up. I'm, I'm serious, I would, if you told me this was mild, I would be surprised. It's funny too, cause like, I wonder if like the, the butter one takes spice more. Right. Or maybe they got ours mixed up. I got medium, you got hot. I wonder if they gave me the hot. They might have, cause this is really, really tame. This is like, boom, this is getting me. Mm, mm. I'm getting that little honey in there too. This is so good. This is uh, easy to get to if you got a car right off the expressway. I am really impressed by this. It's just delicious. It's just somehow at the same time, like this tastes kind of unique. Like this is, I feel like it's a flavor I haven't had, but it's still delicious. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of out of the natural hot right. stage of my life, and I know that's their specialty. I know it doesn't say it's a natural hot. It's like that. It's a butter chicken sandwich or right. honey butter. It still has like a little bit of natural, which I kind of dig. It's like Nashville with some sweetness. Yeah. And it's like a really tamed down Nashville mm -hmm. with some sweetness. Like I feel like there's just a touch of that Nashville flavor still hanging around. Enough for you to like good. it where it's not overdone. So you can appreciate it, but it's not just hitting you. Yeah, it's place. like too much when I get the Nashville hot. Right. You know what I'm really getting out of mine? There's almost like a, a tomatoiness to the uh, flavoring. This too a little bit. I'm almost getting like, I'm not, not going full blown marinara sauce or anything, but it almost like has like a hint of like how a chicken parm would taste. Is that weird? Yeah, no, not at all. I didn't catch that. I didn't know that until you said it, and then once you said it, it clicked like, oh yeah, yeah dude, this has got that same, a little tomatoey flavor. This is unique and delicious. I'm stoked about this. You're not kidding about these crinkle cut fries. They're way crispier. Most of the time, they're Sog City. Mm -hmm. I don't like going to Sog City. I like Crispy Town, and these are damn well done. Mmm, you should crunch. That's how they're supposed to be. Yeah, usually, they get soggy. Yeah, I typically hate them because of that. Oh, these are great fries. These are the best crinkle cut I maybe have ever had. Yeah, I'm right I, there with you. 
hate crinkle cut usually. But these are really, really good. Mm. I think like crinkle cut fries, there was like a nostalgia to them, why people still like them. Like they had them growing up or something. But like they're one of the trashest fries. Yeah. But you just leave them in the oil a few more minutes and they prove they can be good. I'll tell you what, this place is worth coming down to. Yeah, I'm impressed, dude. If, I'm really impressed. If you're looking for a good chicken spot, also if you want to come down here and do like a little tour, we also reviewed the Herald's, the Herald's 55 down here. It's right in the same complex. So if you want to do the thing where you just go full fat boy, like I like yeah. to do, come down to a place, eat a little bit at both spots, two, two good chicken spots. And the people in there were really nice. They got like really good branding in there too. Mm -hmm. This is a cool spot. I dig this. It's one of the most unique chicken sandwiches I've ever had. Maybe the, the most unique. Dude, this is literally tomato sauce. I don't know what's going on. Like it's so good and weird. But I'm telling you, like now every bite, it just tastes like tomatoey. I love the variations of foods that I'm used to. Like I'm used to chicken sandwiches, but there's so many cousins of yeah. the chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. And it's so fun getting to try all these different kinds and like experience them and find these weird little things like, like this, where it's like, it's not even that it's the best I've ever had. It's just really good and so unique. It's something I haven't had anywhere else, which is like becoming increasingly more rare. It's as so rare to me. We've done yeah. what thousand? We've done like a thousand more than that. We've done fifteen hundred reviews. Fifteen hundred food reviews. It's hard <laughs> to like hit us with something we haven't experienced before. So that's pretty cool. Mm. I'm so impressed. Like you, you nailed it on the head. Like coming down here, if it was just a, a solid chicken sandwich, whatever. The fact that it truly is such a different cousin of the main family. This is the cousin that moved out to LA and like is trying to be an actor. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. I, I couldn't be happier. Okay, always don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. We'd also love it if you put the notification bell on. It really helps us out. But also the question for you guys today, what is the, uh, the most unique variation that you guys have got on any sort of sandwich? You know, we've all had the standard burger, we've had the standard chicken sandwiches. What's the cousins of that that are like wildly mind blowing mm -hmm. that Probably we haven't tried. We'll throw ours in the uh, in the comments down below, but I'm um, interested to hear what you guys are. I assume one of ours isn't gonna be bacon jam chicken sandwich. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Which they do make. Maybe unique, not tasty. No. Okay, uh, if you come to the part of the show where we rate the food that we eat uh, out of five, who's your favorite uh, mom character in all of cinema? Who's like just a really good mom character? Uh, married with children's mom. Yeah, out of five of the moms from Married with Children, how many of the moms from Married with Children do you give your, yours like a honey butter? I forgot yeah. yeah, hot honey butter chicken sandwich. What do you give it out of five? Um, this is amazing. 11 bucks, but it comes with a side, which is great. I think that's like a, a very good price yeah. for coming yeah. with a side. A lot of times we'll get like $10, $11 chicken sandwiches. Look at yesterday's video. Yeah, with no <laughs> sides. Um, so I really like the price. I thought the, the way that the chicken was fried up, it was nice, crispy skin, which I'm obsessed with. Yeah. The uniqueness of it, the flavor profile, the heat on it. Everything about this was excellent. I'm a huge fan of this. If you find yourself down in this area of town, snag this up if you can. I'm giving this a 4.8. It's just an excellent, excellent chicken sandwich. I was right there with you. That was damn near perfect. Like, it was truly so good. Okay, so obviously I ordered hot and I got no spice. That part's so a So I got a little point off for that, uh -huh. but it was so damn delicious and so unique with that tomato based sauce, almost like a marinara something mixed with it. I'm truly blown away. I'm gonna tell everybody I know if they're ever headed like out of Chicago or they want a really good south side like food grab, I'm telling them about Hot Shy. Dude, I'm going 4.8 as well. Look at that. I love that score. I think that's just, I'm going 0.2 off. And like most places, if I gave, if you didn't hit me with the heat level, I'm gonna dock you a lot. I know, right? But it was too damn good and unique. Just goes to show you, man, if you do things right, you can get away with anything. Yeah. Murder. <laughs> murder. We'll talk murder and chicken sandwiches in the comments here today. Thank you so much for rocking with us. This was super fun. Southside never disappoints with food. Hoping to do more and more of it down here as well. If you guys ever have suggestions, and also, if you want us to go to a specific spot, hit that Patreon $35 a month level and you pick where we eat. That's you right. Gotta chill on that tier for too long. It'll help if you do, but just uh, donate. So, all right, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Uh, tomorrow, a Friday video. Tomorrow, Old Ebbett. What is that, like a big corned beef or Reuben sandwich? Yeah, based out of Washington, D.C. Yeah, so come on back. That's gonna be a fun one. So see you guys tomorrow. Love food, love you guys.